Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a bit different because we're not painting and we're creating a display base, the Gunpla Way. By the way, I'm now an affiliate partner at with PK Pro and patrons, the top tier patrons get a 5% discount. So when you're shopping for your hobby tools and hobby paints, they have everything. All of the tools and paints that I use here in my channel, they have it. Uh, they have the Harderland Steenbecks, they have Alejo of course, and Redgrass Games. They also have Pro Acryl and Mig Jimenez paints and all those other good brands and also some other really awesome tools. Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. This channel is supported by all these awesome brands. I'm not new in building like dioramas and display bases, especially for Mecca. I've been doing it since 2008, but today we're doing it for a miniature. So I think this is just the second time I'll be doing a display base for a miniature. We just got home from the event of my daughter Nico, which is the GBWC, which is a competition for Gunpla Builders. I was also a bit inspired with the entries that I saw at Twitter of Golden Demon UK and there were so many awesome miniature painting entries and models and dioramas or vignettes. It's, it's super awesome and inspiring to see such really great work. This one is actually a build off my entry for the build off against Boutique, Green Boutique 26 at Instagram and we are kind of he challenged me to do a build off a grim dark build off we won't reveal the model yet but I wanted to share the display base that I made for the build off as you can see in the video, I'm using waterproof materials. Of course, if you have a 3D printer, you could like print your plant or display base. But with this one, I'm used to working with styrene sheets and compressed foam. These are waterproof materials. And since I live in the Philippines, which is very humid, you can't really use cardboard and paper materials because they, were, they will warp in time they will kind of bend and warp and humidify if that's a correct word so you have to use really good materials like this one styrene sheets and clay and foam that should be water based no not water based waterproof once they dry now the air drying clay will dry in a couple of hours after it dried it was kind of stiff kind of strong but has a bit of flexibility which is good because our foam material and our styrene it's a bit flexible so you don't want super brittle materials on top of that so now we're using a crack filler a basically a hardware store potty which is super cheap we got it from the hardware store and then now we're just going to add styrene details basically this is gun plus stuff again uh, my daughter has a lot of this especially since she just finished her entry for a contest so i'm gluing it super gluing it to the base and then the first parts were like foundation so that the rest of the details like you see in the video i could use cement already which is a better addition because it will melt the, the styrene together and then after letting that cure for a bit i'll be adding more details with this gw skulls and more styrene sheets the styrene sheets here i'm shaving will represent like metal boards and stuff and the styrene rods will represent and metallic or iron pillars and stuff and then of course the skulls and now we're adding we're using procreate you could use green stuff or even the cheaper hardware store two-part epoxy stuff 
but basically this is just to make the bond between the styrene sheet and the other material stronger and now you can see in the video i'm adding some vines with the procreate this is to like sort of glue everything together basically stick all of the elements together and then that will make the whole base stronger also i'm adding a couple of vines again from games workshop this will add a nice contrast to my model which i won't reveal yet and then once we're done with all those details you could add more details of course we're using vallejo texture texture paint this is to like add more strength the texture paint will dry and cure to a very rubbery finish after 24 hours so it it kind of bonds everything together and then once you're happy with everything you can now prime the model or the base I primed with Mecha Black Primer as usual. It's the most durable acrylic primer you have in the market today. And then we're like dry brushing some grays. You could use the usual basalt gray. And I'm using my really big oil painting brush for the dry brushing. And of course, my red grass glass palette. And then I'm just dry brushing the whole thing all over the model or the base. This gives me a nice texture and a nice underpainting for the oil painting later or sooner. I mean, it's not part of the video. The painting is not part of the video. So we're just building up lighter tones. I'm pretty happy with just two colors, but I need to put a gradation at the back of the model, the main backdrop. So we're using my Infinity, Kiev Infinity Airbrush. I'll put the link below because you could help children at Ukraine if you buy this model of Harder and Steenbeck Airbrush. The longer version of this video is at Patreon as usual. And of course, I want to thank all my patrons for supporting me for this past couple of months and they make this channel very much possible so do subscribe to the channel we'll be painting this base very soon and then also we're revealing the model that i'll place on this base very very soon I can't really paint this now because I need to paint the actual model first before I decide the colors of this base. That's it, Pansit. That's it. We're done. I hope you liked the video. Do like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our Discord community. Saludos!